Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Vault live stream. Rob here, apologies for uh, our technical difficulties last night. Uh, that was a bit of a disaster. But um, I can see there's a couple of you here. Jump into the chat guys and let me know that you're here. Does this look and uh, sound good to you guys here in the chat? I'm gonna switch over to the chat here. Leah's here, very excited for the stream. Thanks Leah for checking out again. Big fan of the movie vault. Thanks, Leo. That's awesome. I need to get a sip of water here before we start. How's everybody doing out there in the in the chat? Everybody good? Yep. Okay, so uh yeah, last night was a bit of a disaster. I did I done a whole hour of a live stream and for some reason it never streamed live to youtube i don't know what happened everything was working here uh it looked really cool and it did everything was good uh, all the settings were in place everything was perfect and yeah it just didn't go live to the channel i don't know what was going on i saw everybody in the chat and excuse me and um yeah i mean you guys were talking away and i was like you were talking about cartoons and stuff and i was answering i see northern lights in the chat there as well hey thanks for checking out the the rescheduled stream um i saw you guys talking about cartoons and stuff and i was like answering and i just kind of figured nobody was interested in what i was talking about so i just kept going i just kept uh, talking about the the movies i had put aside here um and then it wasn't until i finished the whole hour long stream that uh somebody kind of said to me hey it never worked so i'm not too sure but uh looks like we're live now tonight and anyway all is well back in the live stream land so uh, i wanted to kind of do a, a video the whole plan was last night uh, i'm just gonna repeat the video tonight here is um uh i wanted to just kind of do a spotlight on uh uh boutique <laughs> blu-ray label uh 101 films they're called their uk based uh blu-ray distributor blu-ray label and um i work with them doing some reviews and stuff every now and again and i really like their releases so i have kind of about 10 movies ish put aside here and i was just going to kind of talk to them, talk about them um because some of them are on sale at the moment so um yeah so that's kind of what i'm going to do here Um, i'm gonna just kind of jump right into it here guys so um let me know in the in the chat of course here we'll all be checking in as we we're going along leah yeah i was wondering what happened last night never mind yeah that's that's what happened i don't know i was sitting here talking to myself about all these movies and then it never for some reason it, it never went live i don't i don't know what happened there but um first movie i want to talk up about here is so yeah so just jump into the chat if you if you've seen any of these or let me know what you think as we're talking this is 1985 into the night jeff goldblum and michelle pfeiffer this one is directed by sorry that's the it's the glare off the monitor here it's kind of hard to hard to see uh, into the night this was directed by john landis 1985 really cool um cool kind of comedy thriller movie this is uh 101 films do a couple of different kind of releases so this is called their red label release um it has a red box which they all don't but this one does um red label releases are just kind of standard this is a dual format release so you get the blu-ray and the dvd disc inside you get a, a poster as well replica po or replica poster this is you know the cover artwork here you get a poster of that as well and um, so this movie is kind of like jeff goldblum has a really boring job i can't recall what his job is um but he kind of he goes home one night from work and he kind of discovers his wife having an affair she's in bed with somebody else so he kind of you know he leaves and he he's like an insomniac he can't go asleep and he kind of drives off um he drives off in the middle of the night um la i can't remember where he goes if he goes to vegas um he drives off in the middle of the night because he can't sleep he kind of encounters michelle pfeiffer and there's kind of gangsters and mayhem and stuff kind of ensues after that it's a really really cool comedy thriller 80s comedy thriller um directed by john landis as i mentioned um there's a it's a nice transfer on this one uh, two channel audio track on this um yeah northern lights is saying in the comments bb king team song yes i i have because they're funny there's a funny intro song into this or isn't there like called into the night like you know sometimes those old movies kind of have the song that's the title of the movie um, and i have i have a note about that here yeah it's a very 80s score isn't it northern lights like it's um there's like lots of saxophone and guitar stuff in there and bb king done some of that score which is really uh really interesting um 
or a newborn done the, the rest of the music um but yeah it, it's 80s 80s tastic i like to call them 80s tastic movie here and um, there's some cool cameos in this as well john landis himself is in there uh david bowie is in there as well david cronenberg um you know body shock master body shock stuff he's in there as well um vera moyles is in there as well that's they're the only ones i could spot dan Aykroyd is kind of co-stars in this as well um who else is there richard farnsworth or Ian pappas uh catherine Har- harold as well uh, is just some of the kind of cast there um yeah super 80s tastic movie um into the night if you haven't seen this one do check it out this is on sale at the moment for six pounds sterling on 101's website um the link will be in the description of this live stream or you know when this kind of goes up as a video after the fact um i did review this on the channel it's uh if you kind of it's uh, yeah link should be in the description for this one actually but um yeah into the night really really cool and this is you know the cast at the time i think um Jeff Goldblum is this is pre the fly for Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer is coming off of like uh Scarface and Grease 2 and stuff and and I think her next movie after this one is probably Witches of Eastwick I think if I'm not mistaken um yeah Northern Lights yeah 80s all the way yeah it's it's a it's a really cool movie I only came across it earlier on this year so Into the Night is the first one I would recommend uh in this kind of one-on-one film spotlight video here for you guys that's definitely one i would recommend there um next one up again guys just jump into the chat i'm going to keep an eye on the chat throughout the, the stream here um this movie is from 1990 um i'm i'm a big f- i know <laughs> i know i say a lot, a lot of times on the channel i'm a big fan of you know insert any actor actress director's name there um john cusack i really don't like john cusack as an actor uh, i like his work and again i only came across this movie um last year i think 2019 um this is an awesome movie the grifters have you guys seen this one directed by stephen frears um you have if i can get this to kind of focus here you have um angelica houston john cusack and annette benning is your main cast in this one um this is so 101 films uh their red label is their kind of standard rel- releases and then they do these kind of releases which are called black label and um, you'll kind of see here on the hopefully you'll be able to see here if this thing kind of focuses um if it would uh they're numbered so this is the first one in the black label kind of series here Um, i don't know why my webcam has been really awkward today um you get this like really nice cardboard slip here and um, you know all the artwork i really love the artwork here kind of matches up you also get in these black label the black label releases are limited um limited edition so you kind of get like a booklet in here as well which has um some really fantastic like artwork and stuff and writings on the movie you know the usual stuff guys that are you know are in a book um in the booklets and stuff there's a whole load of stuff in there and then of course what we're buying it for really <laughs> is the movie so and um, you get the the kind of amory case version here um this one is a dual format as well um but what i will point out is when i bought it it's one of these kind of you know with the the stacked up discs this little kind of disc holder thing broke so the i put the dvd in a kind of um just like you know one of those plastic sleeves because i don't want the disc loose and this is how it got posted to me i bought this off one of ones um website myself which is kind of disappointing i bought two black labels together i'll talk about the other one i bought which had the same issue that uh, the case came kind of damaged but um yeah northern lights long time since you saw this one yeah it's it's a really fantastic movie i only came across it last year as i mentioned and um, directed by stephen frears so uh, cusack worked with stephen frears later on again in one of my favorite john cusack movies high fidelity um uh, there's a there's a really awesome like s- about 70 minute making of documentary on this as a bonus feature uh which they kind of talk about it was like an aware uh thriller book that they wanted to kind of make into a movie and um, it's produced by martin scorsese this movie as well which is really interesting um but uh director stephen frizz stuff they did they didn't want to go like full-blown noir on this one they wanted to kind of make it a bit more thrillery and they wanted to focus on the two uh you know two female leads kind of in the in the in their version of the what the book was so um yeah it was a really really interesting kind of backstory to this um the music on this one again I, we talked about the music there for into the night like elmer bernstein does the music for this one uh wrote the wrote the score and uh the director stephen frears didn't like the 
he wrote pieces of music for certain scenes in the movie and he moved Stephen Frears moved them around in editing and apparently uh, Elmer Bernstein really uh, was unhappy with that and it just he was pissed apparently and um, just a kind of funny note of interest here the score was recorded in a, in a recording studio here in Dublin which was really cool they mentioned that in that uh, the making of kind of or the you know the kind of documentary about the movie is really really cool um yeah unbelievable cast like i think angelica Houston comes off of this like uh, just after her father john Houston passed away um apparently she kind of you know she was found some of the stuff really hard to deal i don't want to give away the end of this movie because it's a really really cool movie but they're all kind of like the three of them are kind of con artists different levels of con artists would i be right in saying that and um you know um it's just kind of like yeah small time cheat roy dylan who is john cusack's character winds up in hospital after an un- unsuccessful scam it sets up a confrontation between his estranged mother, who is Angelica Houston, and his girlfriend, who is Annette Benning, and uh, kind of you know who's scamming, who's conning, who is the kind of tagline, which is it's a really cool, uh, really cool movie. This one and there's um, what else is there? Yeah, the documentary and the limited edition book in the black label, uh, one hundred one here, the Grifters. That's the next one up. I was gonna talk about here on this uh, live stream here for you guys, one hundred one films uh spotlight i I will i don't know if uh, did i say it at the start guys i will kind of mention this is not like 101 films didn't ask me to do this this is just i just kind of wanted to do it of my own accord here and um i just pick out some cool movies that i I have like uh from their uh from their kind of you know uh, collection of stuff that they release um oh the grifters yes sorry the grifters is uh black label stuff is two for 25 at the moment on their website this, these are all sterling prices and um, so i'm not too sure where you guys are based um i'm in ireland so it, it's, it's euros so um i think it's a little bit more expensive for me these prices uh, when i buy them but um next one up i wanted to talk to you guys about is 1987 um i don't really get to talk about a lot of music stuff here on the channel and um, i know i have a collection you know a vinyl collection video of all my stuff here but uh this is the very first uh, blu-ray review i done here on the channel way back at the start of the year um yeah madness uh coffee with aliens i see is in the is in the chat thanks yeah we're working well tonight apologies about last night um all is all is streaming well at the moment <laughs> thanks for checking out um i'm just doing this kind of spotlight on 101 films uh you guys coffees um so we just we've talked about uh into the night and the grifters so far um next one up here prince sign of sign of the times sign out of times um this it was a 1987 um movie uh 101 films what i really like about this is just um a standard edition they put the it's kind of hard to see in this webcam guys i apologize about that um they put the year of release on the sides point which i really like um and as a nice touch they have made the amaray case purple on this prince uh release here really really cool um yeah so it's you know it's basically a lot of concert of prints and they i don't know if it's still true for if you pick this up um uh, right now but i got these kind of art cards um in the in the thing here and with this release couple of couple of pictures of prints there and his band his band members sorry that's his drummer um doing their thing um yeah this is a really really nice release there the art cards are a nice touch i feel like we sometimes we don't get a lot of that stuff uh, you know they could throw it in and make a nice release and directed by prince this one was so um i will say there is a fantastic uh dts hd master audio 5.1 surround mix on this release it's a really great mix and um, there is an interesting backstory to this one prince sign out of times uh basically Prince was on tour and they f- they filmed two concerts in Amsterdam in the Netherlands and you know when they get back to the US Prince kind of like decided the footage was too too grainy looking he didn't like uh, Prince is not a fan of the grain um so uh they, they kind of decided like to scrap the footage like Prince was like no nope, not using it not release it. I guess like you know 87 so this probably would like for a VHS release um the audio engineer f- who recorded the sound for the two nights in Amsterdam said the audio was fine. It's just Prince wasn't wasn't happy with the, how the picture looked, um, or the f- you know film it was, sh- it was shot in thirty five, um, and they basically you know Prince's kind of uh, mansion studio Paisley Park, uh, Paisley Park Studios. They kind of recreated the. I guess they just set up a stage and like got a bunch of people i actually don't even know if they got people in like an audience they just basically just refilmed the gig and it, there's kind of a mixture of like there's a lot of on stage 
stuff like it kind of looks like just some stuff set up and some of it is like live performance but yeah it's a really interesting like look at prince at the height of his um height of his kind of you know popularity and stuff and he's full of energy prince it really reminds me of as a kid i would uh watch michael jackson an awful lot and he's just like you know he's kind of similar to michael jackson he never stops he's constantly moving constantly going and um yeah this is just a cool uh, release from 101 prince son of the times i don't know if any of you guys have seen this or you like prince i, I was like not overly familiar with prince's music i i i'm um like i'm a big fan of batman 89 so i knew his his soundtrack for that one but um yeah I, you know i dj'd a little bit for a while and we would play some of his some of his hits but not um not a lot of his stuff but uh this one is on sale at the moment for six pounds sterling again on the 101 uh, website if you guys are interested in checking that one out i'm just going to jump into the live chat here and just double check i'm not missing anything here um vincent thanks for checking out the stream here what's your best 4k picture quality movie um i have a couple of videos vincent on that about the channel um I have like an, a top five old movies and a top five new movies. Um, so <laughs> I'll, uh, I won't give away those videos. Check those out and, uh, and let me know what you think on those on those videos of my top five. Um, yeah, Coffee with Aliens. Yeah, I haven't seen The Grifters. Yeah, do check it out. I, I highly recommend it. It's an awesome, awesome movie. Uh, Vincent, do you collect steelbooks? I do, Vincent. Not not an awful lot. I'll only buy them uh, certain ones I want. I'm not a, I, I don't need to get every kind of steelbook if that makes sense. I just kind of pick up whatever whatever ones I kind of fancy as I'm going along. Um, cool, we're caught up on the chat. Let's go back to uh, gonna spotlight some more of these guys. Um, Prom Night, nineteen eighty, another one one films black label release. Um, really really cool. Um, there's a whole slew of uh, new bonus features and stuff on this one. Uh, this one's directed by Paul Lynch. Um. This, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, stars in this. So Leslie Nielsen, Jamie Lee Curtis, Casey Stevens, Eddie Benton, and F. Bauer. Um, yeah, uh, what I wanted to say about Jamie Lee Curtis on this one is, so she kind of does Halloween, uh, Terror Train, and Prom Night in kind of succession within those 78 to 80. And I think, I believe that's where she gets the Scream Queen title from, doing that kind of trilogy of movies. Um this is kind of an interesting one it kind of like you know it kind of opens up with like four kids and they kind of cover up the murder of another kid and then basically you know they're growing up and they're at prom and like surprise somebody's coming to get revenge on them and um yeah really really interesting hard to have I'm a big fan of jamie lee curtis so and um, that's kind of why i wanted this one um yeah really cool um good horror slasher to have there's a really like really crazy disco score to this like 80s disco score uh composer paul as a carol zitter um does like some of the music on this one uh yeah pretty crazy and um uh there's two plus hours of bonus content on this so again uh, black label so you get the kind of you know the slip the cardboard slip there and you're gonna have a booklet as well uh, some really cool artwork there is the killer and jamie lee uh, the old school kind of like cartoon artwork stuff um writings on the movie pictures of the killer and killings and and 80s jamie lee is in there as well we love that um yeah booklet is cool and then the this is just a single uh blu-ray disc there's no um not a dual format no dvd and we have that kind of uh well-known shot of jamie lee coming out of changing rooms and um, someone kind of frightens them or something in the movie there but um what i the other thing i want to say about prom night guys was uh i won't spoil it but um if you have seen i'm a big fan of halloween you guys know that so if you have seen halloween 2 the 1981 halloween 2 movie the kind of revelation in that movie is very similar to how the end of prom night turns out um, and I'm, I'm brand new to prom night like earlier this year um so uh yeah prom night is um it's definitely one to add to your collection uh prom night is yes yeah, so i'm looking at the chat there um cj thanks for checking out the stream yeah prom night is is our print it's sold out on 101 films um at the moment so if you i what i would say is the black label is sold out sometimes they will release the just the blu-ray on its own and um, without the booklet and the slip so um, i'm not too sure if prom like got the standard uh, release but um for now it's sold out so i would recommend if you guys see it on like amazon i know one-on-one films sell through amazon as well they have like an official store so 
um, do check that out. I'm going to jump back into the live chat here and check out. Yes, uh, CJ. Yeah, thanks for checking out the stream. Um, have you seen Woodstock 69 documentary by Scorsese? No, I haven't. Um, the cinema I work in, I work in a DVD shop, a bookshop. We have it in there. And that's a cool recommendation. I'd like to check that out, actually, and uh, and see what that's about. Um, yeah, Prom Night's Hour Prince, we just said. Um, Vincent, how many physical media in your collection? Of over 2,000, Vincent. Um, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, Laserdisc, VHS, and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Nathan's in here. Hey, Nathan, thanks for checking out. And Dave as well, Cinema Dave. Thanks, Dave, for checking out the live stream here. Um, apology for you guys. I know you were in the chat last night. Um, I did a whole live stream and it never went live i'm not too sure what happened i could see everyone in the chat and i just kind of thought <laughs> you guys weren't interested in what i was talking about so i was just like chatting away to myself apparently here about all these movies last night and never never went live um vincent do you double or triple dip on physical media yes vincent i do i'm terrible for that and i know uh my good friend cinema dave in the chat as well he's uh, jaws is his one and halloween is mine if they bring that out in a new box i'm gonna have to get it that's just how it is <laughs> unfortunately and um, which the bank account doesn't like but um yeah i do double dip on stuff uh, years ago with dvd when it was like dvd was the you know there was no blu-ray and stuff they would kind of sometimes release stuff with like different covers and i would be crazy for that i'd need to get all the i need to get every cover like i need to have all the different covers and stuff and um yeah but i and not so much anymore um i am terrible vincent for keeping stuff uh keeping like if i upgrade from dvd to blu-ray and i have um i still have both of them but they have different artwork i'm terrible for keeping stuff around with different artwork um you know madness um uh, nathan yeah we had a good time yeah thanks nathan i think you were all keeping them going with some crazy stuff going on in the chat there chris is here as well hey chris thanks for checking out the stream yeah we're working <laughs> up and running this time and um, i'm going to jump back to the main screen here yes yeah, so sorry for, uh, for uh, lots of people are just coming in now so i'm just kind of doing this spotlight on 101 films i've picked out a bunch of movies here um because there is a sale going on 101 films website at the moment so um i, <laughs> I know that's it's not really what i want a bunch of us want to hear uh spending stuff but spending more money um next one up here um yeah, so yeah sorry you're late to the stream guys uh we've talked about into the night the 80s movie with uh, jeff goldblum michelle pfeiffer the grifters um scorsese produced steve freer's directed angelica Houston, john cusack awesome stuff prince sign of the times and we just spoke about prom night there um and i'm jumping into the next one i want to talk about here is 19, uh, 1977 rabbit uh cronenberg rabbit so this is another black label released by 101 this again is sold out on 101's website um so the black label release um uh, this one's kind of stuck in the box a little bit we're getting the cardboard slip here really awesome stuff and um, you know bonus stuff is listed on the back we get the booklet i really love the um the kind of rabid stamp kind of font thing here this is really really cool on this one and the usual you know we got a bunch of photos bunch of write-ups and stuff in the booklet there um rabid is a two disc blu-ray blu-ray release and um, so you get the movie on disc one and the bonus features on disc two um, and then we kind of get that like carlin iconic shot of marilyn chambers in the four coat kind of walking down the street past the cinema um on this one rabid yeah so um you know cronenberg man you know what can you say about that guy so rabid um you know he doesn't he kind of start in canada in the kind of uh, mid to late 70s kind of doing like indie small budget movies up there and um rabid comes along uh, post shivers but pre the brood uh, for cronenberg um which is really cool he you know cronenberg the master of the body horror stuff uh, <laughs> you know to say the least um marilyn chambers i really liked marilyn chambers in rabbit um how can i say this in the kind of nicest way she um, uh, correct me if i'm wrong guys in the chat but i believe wasn't marilyn chambers like an adult performer um adult actress <laughs> is a nice way of kind of saying that pre like before she done rabbit um i really liked her and i thought she was quite good in this movie um as th that iconic shot i was talking about in the fur coat and she's walking past the cinema and isn't there a poster for carrie or something in the in the kind of cinema um that she's walking past is something like that yeah it's really cool um there is lots and lots of bonus uh features on this one rabbit um there's a really cool there's like a two-part documentary part one is on this it's kind of about uh that 
kind of um those indie films that were getting made in canada at the time and like you know canada i think it was a toronto i, I could be mistaken saying toronto but it was definitely canada it was the place to be to make kind of indie movies in the mid to late 70s and um, part one is on this release rabid um as i mentioned sorry guys sold out um so again you can't get this on 101 but if you see it online this um black label uh, do pick it up because it has the booklet and stuff in there um it's really cool and the other one i kind of want to throw as a bonus spotlight is the soska sisters uh twin canadian uh, horror directors jen and sylvia i'm a big fan of jen and sylvia soska i love their stuff um you know kind of bringing in the new wave of body horror stuff so they remade rabbit um two years ago 2018 i believe this was i got to run this in work uh, the cinema we work in we had it in the horror festival and um, which is really cool so they're part two of the the documentary is on this release of rabbit which is also 101 but this is just the standard uh release here and um, yeah so directed by the soskas um laura vandervoort is the lead in this ben hollingsworth and cm punk the wrestler is in this i'm a big fan of cm punk and uh, watched his stuff for watched his career through uh wwe and pre-wwe um and now he's kind of he does some stuff with some horror movies so um yeah i would definitely check out this one uh, this one is in, in stock and it's on sale for six pounds sterling at the moment um again all of these i've reviewed all these on the channel at some point pretty much most of them so i'll have the links will be in the description if they're not there now after the live stream has finished uh, they'll be there i'm just going to jump back into the chat and make sure i'm not missing anything here um vincent do you collect tv shows physical media yes vincent i have a huge collection of tv shows um i will i may do a video on that at some point on the channel because there's just so much stuff like i can't even off the top of my head i, I can't um cj is there anything you're hoping to get on a deal if there's one on black friday no cj do you know what i kind of like i'm maxed out at the moment have a lot of pre-orders going on and i really need to um stop spending money <laughs> at the moment to put it bluntly like that um i did you know stuff i got in black friday last year uh, i still haven't watched yet that's kind of how far behind i am with some of the stuff like it's it's crazy um you know the amount of stuff um leah connect collection is incredible movies yeah thanks leah i do i do have a pretty crazy collection it's kind of hard to keep up with sometimes um heavy metal massacre low cronenberg yeah i'm a big fan of cronenberg stuff as well and um, i don't have all the stuff i need to get a hold of it um chris is saying he watched the brew for the first time yesterday it was great yeah i actually i haven't seen the brood chris and i've seen clips of it on a horror show um so i'm i need to i need to get the brood into the collection at some point um northern lights yeah <laughs> yeah he's he's referencing marilyn chambers uh past career there yeah cool stuff nathan yeah nathan's a fantasy and punk as well yeah yeah um yeah uh big fantasy and punk there, there is another 101 films uh he was the lead in a horror movie girl on the third floor i didn't pick it out here it just uh man i, I want to be a fan of that movie and i just don't i i i didn't like it at all uh unfortunately i do have it on blu-ray it's in the collection um but you know that's uh that's unfortunate that one um cinema dave yeah cronenberg's crash coming soon on criterion yes dave i have so i've opted for the for um yeah so i think i spoke about this in a video before on the channel or uh, this is i know i know a lot of us collector guys some people are kind of ordering both haven't they so arrow are doing an actual 4k release of crash which was supposed to be november and it got put back until the first week of december and um excuse me um criterion uh arrow don't have the only have the uk rights criterion have the us rights so criterion are doing a one of those 4k restorations but it's a blu-ray release so i've i've opted for the arrow release that's one of the many pre-orders that are kind of happening at the moment for me um i'm going to uh quickly i'm gonna quickly get my shameless plug in here you guys for um because there's a lot of new people here weren't, weren't didn't see my lives my first live stream last week so i have a t-shirt shop i've had it forever and i just don't really plug it an awful lot the link is always in the description of the videos that i do um i sometimes wear the t-shirts on the channel i don't have on, one on tonight but you can see here like there's a uh, directed by john carpenter a uh, big fan of court russell in court we trust um presented in 70 mil six track that's kind of a projection related t-shirt and um, which is kind of one of the big sellers um for me at the moment jamie lee curtis rules there's a whole like load of t-shirts there that's the link on screen 
and um yeah the, the link is always in the description no pressure it just if you want to buy a cool t-shirt it kind of uh, helps support the channel at some point i'll jump back to the chat real quick here um cj is yeah he's he's going to get crash from arrow um king of new york 4k yes that's one i haven't looked into yet and dave is saying yeah the criterion release does have the the Cronenberg commentary that the arrow i don't think the arrow one has that dave um, i could be mistaken about that one um i'm not 100 percent, but i think oh my god i can't remember who spoke about that maybe was it aaron uh, our friend aaron um on his channel maybe he mentioned about the two different uh i think that criterion has the the commentary but the arrow version doesn't um so you know collector problems will all end up double dipping <laughs> to get <laughs> to get that audio commentary track at some point i'm gonna throw up another one um next one up i have here for you guys um i know uh dave i know you have spoken about this one on your channel before 1974 again i apologize guys this one is sold out or our print off 101 films Um, black christmas the horror film from 1974 directed by bob clark this is an awesome movie i only came to this movie this year would you believe i know a lot of uh, other people in the the movie collecting community did as well um a lot of people that we know um i think nathan uh, if you're still here nathan you only saw this this year as well i believe and vanessa as well um this is a really cool and um, this is just a standard release this is the first time this went on to blu-ray in the uk from 101 they have a it has reversible artwork in here and it has the poster that's this new artwork and it is a uh, dual format blu-ray and dvd here um yeah 74 directed by bob clark uh olivia hussey kiera Jula, Jula, hopefully i'm pronouncing that right margot kidder is in there as well john saxon the late john saxon is in here I, i'm s always so surprised at how many horror movies john saxon is in he kind of turns up in everything you know like nightmare on Elm street probably most famously um this one black christmas adds uh, good transfer on this there's a nice uh 5.1 mix on this release um the, as my headphones are pulling away from me um do you know what really struck me watching this for the first time the um the killer pov shots like i could be mistaken i want to say killer pov was only used for the first time maybe in peep and tom back in the 70s i believe peep and tom was uh or maybe even before the 70s could have been um could have been late 60s uh, i'm not too sure but um yeah really used to affect in black christmas the killer pov shots uh the the phone calls was a cool i don't want to kind of give away this for too much in case somebody in the chat hasn't seen this one before um the phone calls the breeding i really i i think oh my god uh, you know this could have been um dave didn't you do you done a stream with aaron before uh on i believe it was your channel dave um and i think this is aaron's uh, favorite movie uh, black christmas and i think that's where i heard did aaron say possibly bob clark and john carpenter had a connection and um, where maybe carpenter was supposed to have something to do with this movie um and i just really feel now there's so many influences from black christmases on carpenter's halloween in 78 like the the pov shots and the breeding like you hear the killer breeding in black christmas you know and of course in halloween we're going to get that with the through the mask and stuff um but yeah i really thought that and i it's uh i like the kind of uh how would you say like the arc of the movie like you, you suspect a few people during the movie heading towards the end which i like you don't want to, you know you don't want this thing to have guessed it halfway through um halfway through the movie um yeah the, you know the influence is a halloween on this and i kind of feel with black christmas um where year was the 74 i kind of feel like it's overlooked i don't like i don't hear a lot of people talking about it this year yes because we've all kind of found it all of a sudden but not a lot of people kind of talk about this and it comes uh correct me if i'm wrong guys it could be it could be mistaken exorcist is 73 right uh black christmas comes 74 and halloween is 78 and i'm not saying there's no horror between 73 and 78 but it's I, I think black christmas is a fairly big one in there and it's just sometimes i just i think it gets overlooked an awful lot but yeah um again i just i just wanted to spotlight some cool 101 releases here and unfortunately this one is sold out off uh, 101's um website so you're not going to be able to pick that one up um, i'll jump into the chat because i see a lot of stuff going on in there 
um nathan yeah he watched it this year yeah really i really enjoyed it as well nathan yeah um coffee with aliens a canadian horror yeah i was in a movie with art hindle oh cool art hindle is on some of the those bonus features on rabbit i believe or might possibly prom night one or the other i can't i can't recall he's on one of them um matthew thanks for checking out the the stream matthew uh steelbook came out after regular release i had more special features um yeah i'm not too sure they do crazy stuff like that don't they with releases um cj said peep and tom is so underrated yes i haven't seen peep and tom in the longest time i want to check it i really want to check that out again um just after kind of you know uh, just kind of putting this list together for the stream here um northern lights aaron might be interested in that black christmas yes he probably is i would imagine he has it um i'm not too sure he probably has it already um coffee with aliens still gotta see peep and tom um yeah i'm not too sure where if peep and tom is available to stream at the moment guys i'm not too sure um vincent vincent is saying do you think criterion will ever get into the 4k uhd game yes i think there i have a whole video about this on my channel and uh, vincent if you want to uh, go back at some point after the stream and check it out um lots of us have made videos on this i think they're going to have to they're, they're kind of falling behind now like arrow or, you know and, and vinegar syndrome and oh my god who else blue underground everybody's kind of jumped into 4k except criterion and i'm not too sure what their what their hold up is it's that's kind of you know that's where they're at um a newer one i want to show you guys i recently got this here from 101 this is brand new so it's still available and um, this is a really great set silent night deadly night one and two and um, this is a black label they've gone with the the kind of hard case on this one if i kind of get this right in the glare here you should be able to see santa and the building here are kind of glossy um on the back as well the car is it's kind of glossy and um, this is bigger black label because it has the two movies in here and we have the book in here as well silent night deadly night one is 1984 silent night deadly night two is 1987 um the first one there's two versions of the movie there's the theatrical cut and there is the kind of extended um extended unrated cut uh, i watched the extended unrated cut because i haven't seen either of these movies um before uh, I, I reviewed them recently on the channel and um the um i went yeah i went for the extended unrated cut and they have done is it a 4k restoration on this one let me see yeah 4k scan of the original camera negative so you guys will know from that video i made um they've scanned it as good as they can um the theatrical one looks really good the 4k scan but the unrated extended cut has some sd quality like not restored scratches and dirt and stuff um in there i liked the first one and there was kind of some like weird plot holes in there where i kind of thought like oh man i'm not too sure about, <laughs> about that um the second movie was terrible and I, I said that in my review like you know and i like 101 and like as i said they haven't asked me to do this video i just kind of thought i would spotlight some of their releases here myself but the second movie is terrible there's like probably a good 50 to 60 percent of silent night deadly night 2 it's just clips from the first movie um there's some continuity in there you know where the little brother from the first movie is grown up in the second movie um so yeah i see cj is saying garbage day <laughs> yeah that's that's a line from the from the second movie um but yeah this one is available now I, it's full price because it's literally only been released like a week or two guys um so that night deadly night um they've that's a really nice box so that's the first time i believe they've done like a hard cover box which was really cool um oliver is in the chat there as well hey oliver thanks for checking out the stream here we're kind of like we're <laughs> kind of really wrapping up now i've kind of actually no i've one two i've four more movies to talk about guys here um this one is crazy man this movie 1984 um this is just a standard release it's just a blu-ray um has anybody seen runaway starring tom Selleck, directed by michael crichton famed michael crichton this movie is pure madness 80s madness 1984 um cast in this one tom Selleck, as i just mentioned he's in there cynthia rhodes gene simmons of kiss gene simmons is the main villain in this and it's just like absolutely crazy um kirsty alley is in here as well stan shaw uh jerry goldsmith does the music on this is a really cool score by jerry goldsmith on here um which is kind of interesting um special features there's just an audio commentary on here but man this movie kind of like starts as like it kind of starts off as one thing and then quickly turns into com something completely different 
it kind of starts off like this and i'll just like <laughs> yeah classic 80s madness so weird oliver saying yeah it's in northern lights yeah gene simmons um oscar caliber performances oh man he's terrible uh like it's you know the, here's the description guys in the near in the near future a police officer who is tom Selleck uh, specializes in malfunctioning robots uh, when a robot turns out to have been programmed to kill he begins to uncover a homicidal plot to create killer robots and his son becomes a target i will mention his son i believe is joey kramer the actor who was the little kid in flight of the navigator who is the subject of uh, a documentary a really cool documentary i'm hoping to get uh, i have a pre-order on that one and um, really interesting but um yeah it just starts off like um the start of this movie really reminded me of like short circuit the tom Selleck and cynthia rhodes plays his partner i believe like the you know the malfunctioning cop team they kind of go out to a farm because everybody has robots all of a sudden and like this farm robot is malfunctioning and they fixed it it's all kind of you know like uh short circuit type and then suddenly like a robot has a gun a handgun in a house and like is going to shoot a baby or something and kills a guy it's absolute madness like and there's like kind of spider robots that spit acid it's um it's just it's so crazy like it has to be seen um yeah I, I really enjoyed it though i reviewed this a while back on the channel um runaway uh as i said directed written and directed by michael crichton westworld michael crichton jurassic park michael crichton um absolute madness uh this one runaway is again is sold out on 101 so if you see this online and you fancy picking it up i would grab it if you see it guys um because again a, a lot of these are kind of sold out and i didn't actually realize till i kind of as i keep i keep looking down i have my notes you guys know i like the notes um I have a bunch of notes down here and a lot of them are kind of sold out and um, which is really crazy another 80s madness movie i have here this one is not sell sold out this one is on sale for six pounds sterling 1983 space hunter in the forbidden zone have you guys have any of you guys seen this in the chat this is another one of those oh man crazy movies um directed by lamont johnson cast on this one peter strauss molly ringwald uh, ernie hudson is in there michael ironside as well um music by elmer bernstein we spoke about elmer bernstein doing the score to the grifters earlier on another score by elmer um on this one uh produced by ivan reitman as well ghostbusters ivan reitman um yeah this is a weird one this is a kind of uh peter strauss plays a character called wolf he kind of uh gets a distress signal he goes down to this planet to kind of um save three three maidens or something like this from the from overdog who is michael ironside is the um is the kind of main villain in this one um there's a really nice 5.1 mix on this when i when i watched it i really enjoyed that um it's not a perfect transfer but you know it kind of is what it is this is probably a first time yeah released on blu-ray for the first time in the uk 101 do that um an awful lot um northern lights is saying yeah it came out in 3d yeah originally in 83 in the cinema um it was it would have been in 3d uh, when it was released um it, re it has a really um it has a really mad max feel to it oliver is saying he he hasn't heard of it but the title is interesting yeah space hunter adventures and adventures in the forbidden zone so uh molly ringwald plays a character who kind of has to navigate uh peter strauss's character through the forbidden zone to kind of rescue these three kind of uh maidens or, or whatever you would say um but uh yeah there's a real mad max feel to it like the vehicles when they land on the planet and they kind of drive around the vehicles have a real mad max feel to it um so this was 83 and i want to kind of say you know talking about influences earlier on um uh michael ironside's character has this giant like kind of arm that's like attached to uh to his head and kind of like hellraiser 2 influences um dave is kind of heading off thanks dave thanks for checking out the stream no worries i'll talk to you on the next one um yeah the michael ernstard's character has a, this crazy like arm that if you've seen hell hellbound hellraiser 2 uh channard that like villain in hellraiser 2 has that crazy big arm that kind of comes out of his head it's really similar to that and like this one was four years before um before hellraiser 2 the star trek borg uh kind of has similar looks to star trek borg in there as well um yeah so i would i would recommend this one there's some really old school special effects like black matte edge special effects <laughs> 
in this one space hunter adventures in the forbidden zone yeah so this one is in stock at the moment on sale for six pounds sterling so um yeah do check that one out if you haven't i'm gonna jump back into the chat here guys i've seen a lot of people are saying stuff here and um, yeah oliver was saying yeah do yeah oliver check it out. it's worth worth the six quid like for for checking that out um vincent did you pre-order lord of the rings 4k trilogy um you know i'm probably gonna say something here who may shock because i know uh, nathan is still here and i know nathan's a fan of lord of the rings i cannot stand lord of the rings or the hobbits or any of those movies i have lord of the rings on those really old like dvd boxes box sets with the statues i watched them all once and i had enough of that like that was kind of no not for me um nathan's heading off too yeah cool thanks nathan thanks for uh taking the time to check out the stream and again apologies about last night um yeah um cj yeah yeah do check it out cj first as i said for six quid it's worth the worth the punt and um you can always move it along i guess can't you if you don't like it um two more movies i want to talk about here um 1977 i reviewed this on a channel a while ago is there is anything worth the terror of the deep robert shaw jaws jacqueline Bassett, nick nolte in here as well um directed by peter yates peter yates i think um based on a peter benchley novel like jaws peter benchley um somebody was mentioning jaws there matthew back there talking about 70s horror um yeah uh yeah peter benchley that jaws connection comes in here for the deep so uh first time release in the uk for this one the deep is it's not on sale it's 12 pounds sterling at the moment on the 101 website um but yeah they've made this up really nicely actually there is um it's just a uh, one disc blu-ray in here um but they have kind of put in a retro a cinema retro magazine of the 60s and 70s um which is really cool there is um uh, you get a fantastic shot of jacqueline Bassett in there there's a couple of like um there's some old articles or something like the deep i think is what they've put in here some info about the cast and we get to the pack back page you get that like uh 70s tastic nick nolte with the tash in there uh <laughs> awesome stuff um so nick nolte and jack limbusette kind of play these uh they're kind of a couple on holiday romantic holiday in bermuda they go dive and they come up with some kind of treasure from this sunken ship uh there is like a drug lord involved and uh, uh what's the rest of the cast in this oh my god louis gossett's in here as well eli wallach is in here as well there is an uh, there's a really cool um score by john barry you know james bond john barry on this one because the first nine the first opening nine minutes of this movie guys is like all underwater no dialogue so it, this movie relies heavily on the score at times to kind of uh to kind of move the movie along i think um so yeah really interesting really interesting one here um there's 85 minutes of bonus stuff on this there's a really old school like robert shaw on set <laughs> you know in 77 making of and um, which is kind of interesting to watch but um yeah um the only complaint they kind of had about this one was some of the scenes kind of looked like they're really underexposed at times i'm not too sure if that was like an artistic thing they were going for but um yeah the deep is another one i would recommend it's 12 pound at the moment it might go down you know if at another point in another sale um but uh yeah that was my next one. Oh, i'll jump back into the live chat and just uh just make sure i'm not missing anything yeah nathan said he can't believe he can't believe i i hate lord of the rings yeah northern lights i usually put lord of the rings on when i want to go to sleep <laughs> yeah it's it's that boring right that's the whole thing northern lights isn't it like it's that boring it puts you to sleep that's why i can't um I, you guys are probably if you're really i like kevin smith movies so his um his kind of uh, in clerks 2 i believe wasn't it where they the guy comes in and the just the two of them are kind of talking about like the trilogy lord of the rings and then the the uh uh, the other guy is kind of like um there's only one trilogy and it's star wars that's that's exactly how i feel <laughs> about lord of the rings there um i'm gonna jump back to the main screen here the last one guys i have another um 80s tastic one for you here 1986 howard the duck i assume everybody is somewhat familiar with howard the duck in the chat yeah <laughs> absolute madness uh directed by william hyuk hyuk uh willard hyuk uh, apologies um this is the 101 labels release again so uh you know number eight in the spine here um this is not our stock or our print it's two for 25 on the black label um at the moment uh so out of everything i've actually spoken about uh, howard the duck and the grifters are the only two black label in stock um 
and uh, same thing here as, as the rest of them guys you got a really cool um booklet here i like the artwork there on howard the duck and some cool pictures of them in there as well lots of writings and, and stuff you know like behind the scenes pictures leah thompson and, and howard the duck is in there um chris chris said his howard the duck is still in the shrink wrap yeah um as i was speaking about the grifters at the start the same problem i had as the grifters i had with howard the duck when i opened it up this uh because this is a dual format and um, the the disc holder here was broken when i got in the post to me so i have to put the i put the dvd in the plastic slip there um uh, just because i wouldn't use the dvd just because i have blu-ray um but uh that was the one disappointment of that order from 101 they they arrived kind of broken but um yeah howard to look man i loved this movie as a kid you know at um uh, 86 i was three when this came out like i probably saw it after after the fact um you know um it was great as a kid like you know a talking duck comes down and i knew leah thompson from back to the future so it was all kind of like oh cool and you know a lot of that um all, um oliver uh, or cj is saying certain scene howard duck baffles me today um <laughs> yeah a lot of that like sexual connotation stuff between leah thompson and howard the duck was over my head as a kid i like i don't know i didn't get that at all as a kid and um, it's a bit weird it's a bit weird now like you know seeing that but um george lucas was obsessed with the comic howard the duck and apparently like used his kind of you know his um his success with star wars and stuff obviously the star wars trilogy you kind of get this made um and there are some really interesting if you look up there's some really cool like behind the scenes stories of like movie executives um in studio offices like actually fist fighting over who greenlit howard the duck and what a disaster it was at the time but i guess it's one of those now like it's uh, um you know people like me and i guess a lot of you guys in the chat as well like there's a lot of people who have kind of saw this as a kid and grown up now like they you know want to revisit it and i guess that's kind of a, the appeal of a lot of these 80s uh, things now but um john barry again originally done the score for howard the duck and uh, they didn't like it or something and they brought in sylvester sylvester levey who i know sylvester levey from doing the airwolf uh score soundtrack i was a big fan of airwolf as a kid and um, so that was kind of interesting they, they apparently they wanted prince we uh, you know i spoke about prince some of the times earlier uh, apparently they wanted prince to do the the soundtrack to this one um and couldn't couldn't kind of get him to do it but um there's a really good transfer on this it looks pretty decent there's only one scene um where i kind of thought like man this kind of doesn't look good but out of the whole movie um yeah it, it was a really decent transfer and um howard the duck yeah that's my last kind of recommendation up here for this live stream guys um if you haven't seen it i'm gonna jump back into the chat again i see a bunch more uh questions um yeah chris is saying his howard the duck is still in the wrap yeah open it up chris you need to get that watched man <laughs> absolute absolute 80s tastic uh howard the duck oliver uh, is saying what he's watching he's on the 101 website yeah it's great um he's also interested in lord of the rings yeah I, no man I, I i can't go for lord of the rings 4k i never I never went past dvd I, i've watched them once i'll never watch them again and that's kind of how <laughs> we feel about lord of the rings um vincent is saying would you double dip on howard the duck 4k um no i i wouldn't vincent i think the blu-ray looks pretty decent um as it is so i wouldn't go for um i wouldn't go for a 4k um i can't recall what sort of if there was a restoration done on this one uh on the blu-ray but the blu-ray looks pretty decent as i mentioned there it was a good transfer so i wouldn't i wouldn't kind of go for a 4k i like the packaging and stuff when i has done on that release so um you know um yeah no i wouldn't double dip on that um so that kind of that's kind of it guys does anybody have any questions they want to throw at me here before i kind of end the live stream the live stream worked this time <laughs> after after the failure of last night um heavy metal is saying quack quack no one laughs at it master of quack foo yeah there's some uh there's some terrible terrible lines in there as well um oliver he's not interested yeah i'm with you on the 4k yeah just not at all oliver no no interested uh not not interested at all um howard the duck oliver or lord of the rings um yeah i uh, i as i said any questions try them in here before i kind of wrap up guys that was kind of i just wanted to spotlight these 101 films releases here um you know yeah some of them are on sale at the moment so you might get some um 
some kind of uh, bargains and stuff uh, if you wanted to wanted to kind of grab some while there's a sale um going on i will say uh, into the night i i reviewed a while ago on the channel um, and it was six it was on sale for six pounds sterling at the time um so it could be um could be uh could be on sale for a while um i have oh yes yeah, so so i'll have uh the link to 101's website is in if it's not in the description of this live stream it will be when this goes up as a video and i have a couple of links to i reviewed some of these movies on the channel if you want to check those out or you can just go back to the channel and scroll uh through there and kind of see my uh my kind of full thoughts on those movies um still in the chat here uh cj is saying when's your next blu-ray update um i usually just do one at the end of the month cj i don't have an awful lot of stuff for november it will be the last uh week end of the month is when the next kind of overall one will be um chris is saying worth the wait worth waiting for her. thanks thanks chris yeah really apologies again about last night um debating the porches of spring in the next week or, or two um yeah that that 101 release isn't it chris i've seen stuff about that i haven't asked for a review copy i'm not overly familiar with it so um sometimes you know with the review stuff i get offered review review stuff but if i'm not familiar with what it is and it, i it doesn't kind of sound like something i'd be interested in covering on the channel i kind of pass up on them and um, let me know what you think about that one chris um oliver great video yeah thanks thanks oliver really appreciate watching the stream northern lights uh never mentioned in, never here mentioned the Irish film the commitments yes northern lights uh, yeah commitments i do have i have a dvd copy commitments is a fantastic movie i should do something um i should do something on some irish movies at some point i don't think i have an awful lot of irish movies in my collection which is probably a, a sin as one of the very few irish youtubers who talk about movies movie stuff movie collectors and stuff um northern lights is saying all-time classic soul music yeah and um, vincent do you buy physical media from ebay um yes vincent i do not an awful lot anymore i'm mainly buying new stuff now what i will check out ebay for is like um if i'm picking up older formats like vhs or laserdisc stuff like that and um, that's where i'll kind of check out uh check out um ebay for cj nice live chat and gave me some recommendations to buy yeah it's, it's sorry sorry cj that's gonna hit your bank card and um, once again thanks for thanks for watching um chris is saying in mainly interested in spring because it's by benson and moorhead who did the endless uh, yeah I, I, this is all over my head chris you guys know i love the horror stuff on kind of mainstream i kind of feel i'm not very well versed in some of that stuff like criterion and some of those movies so um that's why i don't kind of like really <laughs> like talking about them or getting them for the channel um cj is saying commitments is an amazing movie it's on blu-ray yeah I, d I don't have the blu-ray i have the dvd um and chris is saying yeah commitments is brilliant i'd recommend intermission as well yes chris intermission i do have i got to run intermission on 35 mil as a projectionist i have a trailer for it here in my um if i jump back to the main screen here uh, my trailers are kind of down and below and over on the film bench i kind of showed in one of the streams before um yeah intermission is cool i have a I have a trailer for that um colin farrell is, is unbelievable in that absolute madness but um um matthew was saying talking of Irish films wake and ned needs a blu-ray release yeah i've never seen wake and ned if i have i haven't seen it in years i would have to see it again to to kind of know what it's about but um yeah um does yeah a lot a, a pr the problem with a lot of irish stuff is it's just not going to it's never went to anything past dve and you know even now they're out of print like you can't get them dvd is kind of as much as they said yeah chris is saying he hasn't seen waking ned in years either yeah um i'm not too sure now we do have an irish section in work in the dvd shop i'd have to check out and see um see if we have that in there but um yeah that kind of um that kind of wraps it up guys once again really appreciate everybody coming back and um, anybody who was here last night and the, the live stream didn't work um yeah i just kind of decided i would do an impromptu one tonight and kind of uh just wanted to talk about these movies and um yeah just make sure i've done the stream for you guys so um yeah that's gonna wrap it up here i really appreciate everybody watching um thanks for everybody in the chat that was really cool and um hopefully you've got some recommendations here and uh, yeah i'll see you guys um for the regular regular upload of videos we'll be back during the week with some good stuff and um yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you on the next one